Hi, welcome back to my channel, or Blissful Chaos. I'm Omega, and today I'm going to be talking about what I do with my kids to help them get some focus and goal setting during our year of learning. So what I do is an idea I got from um, Leadership Education, also known as Thomas Jefferson Education, and it's to do a compass, that's what they call it, every six months. And what that is basically is you have a sheet of paper, you divide it into four sections and it's things that you want to improve, new things you want to learn, field trips you want to take, and books you want to read. So I've modified what it is I put into these categories. For a long time I just did, you know, new things you want to learn, books you want to read, places you want to go, and things you want to improve. But <laughs> my kids would tell me what they wanted to do, new things, everything like that. And apparently I would always say, and here's what I want you to learn. And I would add to their um, compass. So now instead of me adding in the different sections, I just created a space on the compass for what mom wants you to learn. So now our compass looks like things to improve, new things to learn, books to read, and what mom wants you to learn. So the way that looks, let me show you really quickly, is I just use a note card, just a little note card divided up, and I put an N, an I, an R, and an M, sorry. So in that section will be new things that they want to learn. This section is improve. This section is books they want to read and the things I want them to learn. If they actually have field trips or things they want to go, places they want to go, I usually put that in the new section. So I'm gonna show you a quick example from 2018 of one of Connor's. So here I just have new things you want to learn, books you want to read, places you want to go, things you want to improve. On the flip side of that, I did a mind map. It's like you have your main idea and it's like that spider web. So this is what that looks like. And it's just everything he wants to learn branched out into the different ways to learn them. So that is just a real quick rundown. I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna use Liam's because his is actually pretty, there's a lot on it that he wants to do. So he had a lot of things that he wanted to learn and then he did his mind map. So the reason I switched from the full page to these is because I like to keep them with me and this is like my everything book. It's just a traveler's notebook and it has like our schedule of what they do. I guess it's not their schedule. It's the way that I plan everything that is in here, all my ideas, all my thoughts, things I need to discuss with my kids. Um, that is in this book. And I can do a video about what exactly is in here, but it's my whole homeschooling everything. But in that, I keep all their current um, compasses. So with Liam, let's have a look. So he has a lot of new things he wants to learn. You know, botany, zoology, dinosaurs, paleontology, entomology, things he wants to improve is math reading, Legos, books he wants to read are the wings of fire, spirit animal. Now Liam actually doesn't read yet, so these are books that he has actually already listened to and he wants to re-listen to them. So I'm working on introducing new books to him. So this list is just all his, you know, re-listens. Over here in my section, I want him to work on codes and ciphers and ASL. So let's flip that over. So the way the mind map works is 
I take all of those things that he wants to learn and new things he wants to learn and things he wants to improve and they each get their little branch away from his name. So for instance with dinosaurs, I it has its own branch and I'm like, okay, how are you going to learn about dinosaurs? And he's like, I'm going to watch Dinosaur Train and I'm going to read books. That's perfect. Right at the age, I love Dinosaur Train for teaching. What's really important for me when doing these mind maps is that I'm not telling my kids what to do. We sit down and I ask them, you know, okay, you want to learn math. That's great. It's good ambition. How are you going to learn math? And they'll think about it. And, you know, it's either depending on the kid, it's Math Seeds or it's Beast Academy or Khan Academy. I'm like, okay, now we have the first step. We know where we're going to go to learn math. Now it's how often are you going to learn math? And they think about it and they're like, oh, well, we'll do it every day or every other day. I let them decide because this is their education. This is their plan. And if they're the ones doing it, then they're the ones that are going to figure it out, right? So after we have, you know, however long they're going to do it, how many days, then I ask, how long during that day are you going to do it? Like, are you going to work on it for 15 minutes? Are you going to work on it for an hour? Are you going to, you know, complete a lesson? How are you going to choose to do that? And they're all, they give me all different answers depending on what they want. And so I go through every section of their improve list and their new list. And we make plans for each one of how are you going to learn this? What are you going to use for this? How often are you going to do it? And to me that it paves a road for them if they get into this practice that eventually they'll start asking themselves these questions when you know they're older and whatever circumstance comes up, they'll have a way of figuring things out for themselves. They'll know the questions to ask themselves. They'll be able to set their goals set plans to reach their goals and not just flounder because I don't know about you but I floundered a lot when I was younger and I'm like oh I'm going to you know learn something I don't know anything and you get really excited about it in the beginning right but then you're like oh, I don't I don't know how to do that I don't I don't know what books to read and then you just get bogged down and you forget about it and then you don't actually learn what it is you wanted to learn. I think for me, I had to let go of the idea that I was in charge of their education and that I was going to have the main role in what their education looked like. Education is for the learner and not about the teacher. And I got that from, I believe it was Julie Bogart said that. And that really resonated with me because, you know, I'm just teaching. I'm opening the path and exposing them to all sorts of things. It's up to them to do something with it, right? It's up to them to in either embrace whatever it is I'm teaching or, you know, let it go. So picking the things that they want to learn helped to develop that love of learning that I was looking for. And it helped to develop that relationship with learning that it's not just something that's being done to them. It's they're actively involved in their education. They're completely in charge of it. They, I am there as a supporting figure. I am there to mentor them. I am there to supply them and facilitate them with whatever it is they need to learn what they learn. So that is what I do. Every six months with the kids, we sit down and we go over their old compass and they'll decide, okay, yeah, I didn't want to do this or I didn't want to do that. Or they'll have found new interests and we'll add to that new or improved side. I didn't want to do it every month 
for three months because you have to give it time and you have to let them you know delve into the subject to decide yeah this is something I want to keep doing or no this is something I don't want to do that's kind of how I figure out what to put on my loops is during this time is usually when I make my loop adjustments so with my subjects if you haven't seen my looping video check it out here and you'll notice I have history science writing cleaning fun so now I have a new one and it is business and financial education so that will go into our loops where we'll go through and when we're on that week we'll study business and the next time we come through we will study financial education now I haven't actually come to that loop yet so I'm still trying to build that curriculum for my kids and how I want to do it so I might just combine them I don't know yet how that's going to work when I do if you're interested I will show you what I teach for business and money so that is how the compass and the mind map work if you have any questions uh, comments leave them down below and I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.